So this is the render effect, and I thought I'd compare it against my two-year-old water cool desktop. So here's the specs for my PC. You can see a little kitty and my big monitor in the background. It's an i5-6600K, peaks at four gig, four cores and four processors. And we all know what the Razer Blade's got, but mainly it's got 12 local processor. I was actually quite surprised, but I thought it might be that the actual blade was faster. And my observations on the test. The CPU didn't go 100%, it hovered about 50%. One core was 100% turbo though. The GPU didn't go to 100% either, it hit about 30%. Again, I was quite surprised. It didn't mean that the machines were unresponsive, so it's not like they maxed out at those settings. And I just thought, well, let's see what else I can do and how responsive it is. So I played a movie, I went on the Razer website, viewed a demo, and everything just pops up. And the CPU did go up to 75%, so it's quite responsive. And for those who are interested, here's the actual proof of what I was doing. I loaded up the HitFilm Express, and I've got another video showing how to do all this, and you can test this render yourself. At the moment, I'm just setting it up. And as you can see, that 246 earlier on. And there you go, click the start, and it starts rendering, and the CPU will then clock up. And what it happens, it's got one core, which I've highlighted there, obviously two logical processors in there, and they hit 100%, and that obviously probably maxed up to 4 gigahertz, as you can see on the left-hand side. And the rest stay at 2, I'm guessing. Not overly sure how this works. You can see the graphics processor, the 1072 is only running at 28, 30%. What I've done now is redone the test with the video playback with the render inside. As you can see, that's why it's gone blue. You see if adding different things to it would push it up a bit. Depending on what type of rendering you do, it would actually use more cores or raise it up a bit. So anyway, I thought, well, okay, let's go and see how the laptop responds to me doing things. See if it's actually maxed out. And I'm playing that 4K video. And we see that takes, that hits the CPU uh, internal video card. And you can see the CPU has gone up to like 66% there. I thought let's go on the Razer website. The noise in the background is the fans. So we can play streaming video. You now Edge was working, you know, everything's just instant, just click buttons, as you can see, nothing's struggling. I'm going to see if I can find a video in here somewhere. Oh, there's one. Just gone past it. You can see, like, instant download. CPU, I think, went up to about 75% then, I think. 65 at the moment. Everything I'm clicking on is just instant. There's no pause, no stutter, not, uh, can't cope. And you can see it's still rendering underneath. This thing can handle whatever you want to chuck at it. That'll be interesting for people to see. Well, so you have it, a render test. Quote me, still a happy purchaser. Yeah, I'm loving the laptop. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, keeping it real for you guys. Whee. And please subscribe because it gives me purpose and instruction. Next video up soon. Bye.